So the really fun thing about this look is that it is so fast. Like seriously, you can do this in five minutes. And I think there's gonna be a lot of hair teasing, but it's really not as much as you're thinking. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to do it. So what we're gonna do first is we're actually going to section from behind the ear to behind the ear, like so. Just about like this. And the rest of that hair, what you can do is we're actually just going to throw it back into a low bun. So we're actually just going to do this to it. Now with the hair that we have out, something I always do and I think it's really important to keep a look that's really, you know, high is dry shampoo because a lot of times our hair just gets, you know, whether we just washed it and it's a little too clean or even if it gets a little bit greasy, I feel like adding the dry shampoo just gives it some texture to like stand up on its own a little bit. So we're just gonna spray some dry shampoo right in my ear hole and this is just to make sure the hair feels light and grippy is that a word grippy so just putting all the dry shampoo there now what we're gonna do again just to kind of keep the hold of everything is we're gonna go through with some hairspray and we're gonna just kind of hit all the way around our hair with some hairspray. And we're gonna do this again when we tease, but really just brush through that hairspray. Again, everything we want to do is make the hair the most successful at holding volume and a curl. So the more that we can add, the better. Like I always say that there's no such thing as too much hairspray. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna start bit by bit and we're just gonna go, and when I say crazy, I mean crazy. Like we're gonna tease our hair to the moon and back. And don't worry because it all gets brushed out and laid with a, a headband over. But right now, we're gonna take this, gonna spray her, and we're gonna go ham. We're just gonna, and you don't even really need to leave any hair out as we're teasing. You know, you can literally just make it this big ball that doesn't move. Um, and you don't need to really have any hair hanging out. Usually when I tease my hair, I do like to have a little bit just so that it really blends with the rest of the hair if I'm doing a down look. But because we're gonna be using fake hair for this, um, or in your instance, just hair pulled back, even if it's not fake, um, we really don't need these extra pieces. So feel free to like kind of do this and like squish it down together so that you just have this really big bump here. It's especially really important to tease it super high in the back. So as we kind of go to these back pieces and there's no really specific order that you have to follow, just be as big as you can. We're just going to do this. Really just ratting your hair down. Just like that. Big and beautiful, right? So cute. And then again, do it. We're just done in the back. 
wonder if I can get any closer to show the teasing. Here we go. I'm able to get a little closer and show you on this side. And it is never too much teasing, I promise you. It's easier to brush it out and have less of a tease than to not tease enough and have to go back and redo it again. Um, I feel like for me, I really grew into like loving teasing my hair in volume because I've realized it made my face look less fat. Uh, like the more volume that you have, I feel like it's really flattering for your face. So over the last several years, I have definitely been into teasing and volume a lot more than I ever was in the past. I'll tell you that. Okay, perfect. So now that we have this like mess going on, what we're gonna do is just, oh, I need my brush. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna brush it all the way back, just like this. Just to kind of get it to be one big cohesive unit, big bump. Now, as you're brushing it out, you're gonna be able to see that there's really not any hair coming out which is fine um, because what we're gonna do at this point, um, now if you aren't using a wig or extensions, you would just leave out the rest of your hair now and it doesn't matter. Um, I love using my rosette hair piece because it takes, it's like way quicker than doing it on your own. Um, so I'm biased about it and it just clips in a lot easier. But what I'm gonna do is just take it can probably see here just clip it in right in the back and kind of use those alligator clips on the side just to hold in the sides and again we're just gonna here it is throw it all back because then even though the rest of your hair is teased this bottom part still looks really elegant, really classy. So again, we're gonna brush all of this back. And now the important part that's gonna come now is as we kind of transition around the headband. So this is kind of what makes the look, right? So, I really thought this looked like a tennis outfit, but I think it just looked like I'm wearing a dress. I like the thicker, the better. Um, I don't absolutely love this one, but it's the only white one I have, so that's what we're working with. Um, but if I had my choice, I would have a different one. So what we're gonna do before we put that headband on is we're just gonna do one more pass with the hairspray. And we're gonna kind of take our teasing brush and just brush it all back so that it's laying nice in the back. And then we take our little headband and we lay it like we would a little tennis headband and then here comes the adjusting i know right now you're like rachel you look like a lunatic and you're not wrong i do but this is where the magic happens we're just gonna style around it now so kind of bringing it down bringing it out like so and you just kind of finesse with it you're gonna see like what naturally falls with your hair the best and whatever that is for you just let it work. You kind of finesse it to be exactly as you want it. You have the complete look. I think this is really fun. Like, I feel like it's very sporty. I feel like it's also kind of a nod to the 60s and the 70s. So I guess it would kind of work for both. Uh, but I've just been seeing everybody doing more of the headband pulled back look. So I think that this ended up being super cute but i guess it doesn't really matter what i think tell me what you think are you going to try this out do you feel like it looks tennessee or did i not hit the mark haha uh -huh. see what i did there like i guess they don't do marks in tennis jokes on me anyway i hope you enjoyed this video i'll see you next time